Hello everyone and welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviani and today I am a budgie. Because why not? I deserve nice things. I deserve to be a parakeet if I so desire. Uh, I've been a little busy. Um, evolved Jedi all the way. I, uh... Cut some stuff. Um... I got some... I got a, a shiny Toxicroak, shiny Mischievous. You're not shiny, why are you here? <laughs> and I, I, I wish you could organize the pastures without having to move everything place to place, you know? I caught a giant weasel, an alpha. It's four foot two. But because it's an alpha, I don't know if I should give it to the guy or not. Should I keep going with that? Or what? I also got where you, um, you get the starters, the, the other two starters that, uh, Laventon had. But obviously that one, that was not it. That was a level 52 one that I caught in the, uh, time-space distortion. Hmm. Along with the dark tricks here. I did this quest where you have to show the Lady of the Finneon. You know what? Let's get Chimborazo out. We haven't used you in a while. Ursaluna I just got because uh, I, I just pulled out a random Ursa ring that I had captured because I saw that it was a full moon. Uh, well, there's the overquill we got, but we also evolved the um, the one that we'd been trying to evolve, the quillfish. That I named Dodoria after the discussion we had last time. Uh, oh yeah, I did the honey from all the places you can catch combi quest. I'm tempted to get Athena out of storage here, but I don't know. I mean, you don't really get much for chat at. I might just raise her on my own time. Ah, oh, there we go. Dodoria. Level 68 over Quill. <laughs> that is still just the best name ever. Over Quill. Um, I did run into a few things. Uh, I'm gonna get Wisteria out of the party just because um, I'm still trying to, you know, level that up. Oh, jeez, Ikui is only level 17. Gracious me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to show everyone what I've been up to. I feel like I should bring Dialga and Palkia with me, just cause. Oh, there's snooze button. Uh, yeah, let's use snooze button. Uh, I want to try to like 
get someone real good, you know what I mean? Oh, Gardevoir is level 70, but I feel like that might just be cheating. You know what? Let's raise up St. Germain a little. Uh, just cause. Uh, I think I had a Lickitung that I named Queena. Didn't I? Yeah, hey, I could have. I mean, that's my go-to name for Lickitungs. Hmm. Because, let's face it, you know, Queena is basically a Licky Licky in a chef's hat. And that's awesome. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. If I had anyone here, I could have them vote on what I want to, uh, you know, what they want to see. Uh, I should put Magnemite away. Hmm. What's a good name for a Magnemite? You know, uh, Colrus, because it evolves into Magnezone, and that's what he uses, so. <sighs> Goodness gracious, what should I do? Oh, hello, Lugia Budgie. You know, there was someone at KimoriCon once who had one of these Budgie Kigus that was modified to look like Lugia. I just feel like I should have them with me. Uh, yeah, there you are up here. There, how's that look for a team? <laughs> oh yeah, and I picked up what you know, looked from the front to be, like, uh, an elaborate hat. Oh, it's very elaborate. It's Riley's hat. Frickin' Riley. Uh, so, today... Ooh, a mass outbreak. Okay, well, we gotta go here anyway, so let's go check out the mass outbreak, yeah? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, well, it's in the direction we need to go. Let's find Ava's lost satchel first. She's always losing that thing. Goodness gracious. And after we do that, I can show you a cute picture. I can just bring up. Uh, it's got nothing to do with this game, but uh, um, okay. It's supposed to be right around here, yeah? Oh, it's actually south of here for some reason. No. It's up here. There it is. Okay, so... Alright, I will set that, and then I will show you a nice, cute little pick. It's one of the um, few pictures I still have of them, uh, because they were all on my Tumblr. My budgies! This is, uh, the green one is Lawrence, and the blue one is Lugia. And they had dirty, dirty faces because they never <laughs> really liked to groom each other. So yes, I did have a blue budgie named Lugia. 
<laughs> Weren't they the cutest little things? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, excuse you. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, and I gotta... Oh, I can't... I can't log in with that or save while I'm in the air. Okay. I mean, I guess I have to use both hands for this, but... <laughs> Mimes. Coming up on a whole field of you. Should be interesting. Okay, well, I see one. I see one of you. It's not exactly a mass outbreak. I mean, they are pretty rare. Maybe they're just down this way. Oh yeah, okay. Problem is, <clears throat> They tend to have real high evasion already. Cute verbs, Miss Athena being a wild child. There. Yes, she is. And that's actually part of the reason that I'm wearing this because she was ripping holes in my shirt when I had her on my shoulder. Oh, golly, look at them. They're all doing a dance number. Okay. that their buddies are disappearing. But then again, I guess they don't really realize that, you know, their buddies are randomly appearing either, so... You gonna I know you see the salt cake. Frick, I gotta switch. Ah, mass outbreak of mimes. What is this, Kalos? Oh my gosh. Although at least it isn't the Galarian one. Oh my lord. Uh, 
course, the one time I actually tried this foil layer record and it didn't do anything. right when the defenses go down, right? Come on. Come on. I'm hearing... Oh, come on. You didn't keep it up all of this time before... The, so the second I drop my guard, it drops its guard. Okay, sure. Oh, frick. No! No! You're not who I'm here for! No! No! I am not going to be waylaid by Gastrodons! Okay. Come on. Lose interest. There you go. Oh, no. Why aren't I healing? Okay, all right. Okay, I caught a Gastrodon without actually trying to. Frick. For corn already. We can actually do this. Wait. It didn't tell me that the outbreak went away. Is there still a Mr. Mime around here? Okay, it it definitely puts up the X before the Mr. Mime erects the barrier. So I don't understand what's going on. Oh, come on! You did not have enough time to do that.
You did not have time to do that. Come on. There we go. The reported Pokemon seem to be gone. Just one over there. I don't give a shit. So what we need to do now is we need to brave a field of ghosts and wind. Oh, so this is what that Simpsons episode was talking about when it said that uh, Mr. Sparkle would banish dirt to the land of wind and ghosts. <laughs> you know, the episode where Homer found his, uh, his face on a package of Japanese detergent. <laughs> Yep. Okay, fine. You know, you know what? You, you, fine. Here's what we're gonna do. You wanna fight? I'll give you a freaking fight! <laughs> hey! Hey, Tayalga! Oh, that's nice. Oh, this whole body lights up. Yeah, damn right I defeated Luxray. I'd be shocked if that didn't work. Mm. Guess I could just do this. <laughs> I was actually out to this island earlier today because I was doing more, uh, you know, fetching the parcels that people drop. And one of them was dropped on this very island. So I was like, okay, okay, if I get pulled into a cutscene, I'll just turn it off. But no, apparently you have to go inside the cave to do anything, so... Yeah, I was able to grab the bag. It was, like, right over... Right, like, between these trees. And grab the VV choke. And, uh... It was cool. What? No, this one. I really wish they had come up with a bitter variety of names. Alright, so, um... Hmm... Wait, no. I just wanna... I guess it's just down here. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Yeah. It's just gonna recover the whole time, huh? Okay, all right, well that's a little more reasonable. And that should, yeah, take it down to the yellow. Okay. Kind of expected Volo to just walk in and be all hey.
And uh, as a reminder, I have gotten spoilers. Um, uh, I, I people put stuff in like YouTube thumbnails, and it's just like you know. I debated about whether or not I should put Kagata in that one thumbnail of mine. But I eventually decided it was okay because you can't really see her face. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> Ooh, only two. Neat, neat, neat. Might as well get this while I'm here. I see something red and glowy. Oh, hey. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, that would not hit the tree. <laughs> I don't give me any bullets, bullets, but, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I shall not. I shall not actually talk about the spoilers. I just... Just that the spoilers exist. There's also some spoilers I got about someone else, too. That I'm actually going to fight someone else at some point. I think I'm going to fight someone else. It's that this person has a Pokemon of their own that apparently is really controversial, and I don't know why, because I don't remember the name, and I don't... It's a new one. And I don't remember the name, and I don't remember... Uh, I don't have any idea what it looks like. Uh, I can only make so many of those, huh? Starlight, I will be chasing your starlight till the end of my life. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. <laughs> okay. It, yes, yes, I would. Ah, uh, no surprise, shinies. When I caught the mischievous, I had no idea one of them was shiny. Back to this game just haven't felt like it recently. Uh, yeah, it can be a little grind. Legends say that when Luxray is two eyes shine with gold, the Pokemon can see through anything. <laughs> Eats beach sand for nourishment. <laughs> You knew I caught Dialga before. Okay, I gotta use Iron Tail and Roar of Time and a bunch of Agile and Strong Moves. I really wish you didn't have to go back to the town every single time. That you could just keep going to other areas.
Oh, yes. And our friend here had a little evolution. <laughs> Let's see. Are you gonna... Oh, and I went up to level 9 as well. Are you gonna sell me anymore? Nope. Frick. Fuck you, Benny! outbreak, huh? Oh, golly. Um, uh, it, but, <sighs> okay, no, we're not going to do the mass outbreak of Walrein. <laughs> we're just not. We're not stupid. <laughs> Although we remember what happened when I... Wait, was that on stream or not? When I tried to do the mass outbreak of Gyarados and just got my ass kicked? Let's see. Hmm. Check that out. There's one right over here. Yeah, I honestly don't remember if that was on stream or not. But, you know, dealing with capturing stuff in the water... I, I just... Uh... Where is it? Oh, it's a little down this way. Ah, there it is. It's not on stream that I know of. Sounds like a terrifying time. It freaking was. But you know what's worse? Yesterday, I was doing a mass outbreak of Psydux. The Psydux kicked my ass. By freaking Psydux. Eh, it's just this is Stardust or something. It was frickin' wild. Okay, now I do know who it is over here because I saw them when I tried to fly over them when I saw the mission on the map. It's the boy! Okay, who... I do not care enough. Hey, if it isn't Mitsumi, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. Did that make your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in if you're curious. That's that survey core spirit. Curiosities what move science forward, according to good old Mr. Professor. Kind of think of it, what I've found seems too valuable to just let you in on it for free. You'll need to work a little. Is this orbs? Here's the deal. I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. Huh? That it's on. Time to see what you've got. Here I come, knowing full well how tough you are. For the future of the Diamond Clan. I, I could just, you know, Dialga. Dialga. 
Leafy on a void. Okay. Yikes. Give me the slowdown and everything, even though it says it's not very effective. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Really? What? But. Okay, well. <laughs> I want to see if he gets any special dialogue. <laughs> yeah, a little thing about that. Someone asked if my being ahead of him means that it should go um, go faster, and I, I said, you know, just, it just means play however you feel comfortable. Don't don't feel the need to. You know, to speed up on my account. You know, that's why I slowed down. I waited a week for people to catch up with me. Okay. Okay, roar of t How did you... Come on, there we go. You know, it just looks like a like the beam attacks look really good in this game, but I feel like Roar of Time shouldn't be a beam attack. It's just it should look something distorted and powerful. You're really something, and I'm a man of my word. So here's that treasure. Awesome. But it's not an orb. Do we uh, do we get those carved at some point into orbs? When used on Dialga, this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. <sighs> this used to be my grandfather's. He said it was somehow related to Almighty... S I, I mean, to Mighty Dialga. So now that I put you through the ringer a little, it seems right to give it to you since you're the one who caught Mighty Dialga. You know... I ought to tell you, I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. He taught me another way to get along with Pokemon, another way to relate to the world. Time started to move faster for Hisui when you arrived. I felt big changes coming, even to the very way humans and Pokemon relate. You have no idea. Hmm. 
Imagine winning that fight with Palkia and Adam gets really salty afterwards. <laughs> oh, that'd be fantastic. Oh wait, no, I wanted no. The controls in this game are just so all over the place. Remember when you used to hit start to pause? Now here, start does this. Fight you with a completely artificial being. Also, I'm gonna get the heck out of the way here because Thunderbolt. Ultra ball. seems too easy if it wasn't for the fact that it can easily be this easy in the um, main games. You know, but you know what I mean, right? It just seems like it's a little too much, even though this isn't the first game in which it's been this easy. It just seems like it should be harder. Maybe I'm just that good. I mean, I think that's supposed to be the implication, right? That I am just that good. Some smooth jazz popping in out of nowhere. <laughs> Come on. There it is. All right, and up here. So, oh, by the way, before you got here, I was telling the camera that um, I captured an alpha buizel. Which means I can just turn it into that guy who wants a big buizel at long last. But then I won't have an alpha buizel. So, uh... Should I just turn it into him? Really blow his mind, or what? Back to how easy it is in this game. Remember those suckers gave me hell and DP. They'd probably be easier now that I know how dust balls work. <laughs> well, yeah, remember, Mespert goes on the run. Mespert makes you chasey chase. I'm gonna get the... Yep, there's the fog.
Hey, Professor, guess the fuck what? <laughs> yeah, I catch the embodiment of willpower and I only get 980p for it. Can't I just go straight there? Although, I suppose it would be good to uh, stop by home for a second. Turn it in, get that annoying task out of the way. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And avoiding that guy solely because I've heard that task is awful. Yeah, and then a friend of mine uh, was telling me that she spent like an hour just catching weasels, and it turned out like the first one she caught qualified. So yeah, needless to say, I was kind of what. Pretty sure that was Netbug. Who's going to be streaming this tomorrow? So if I stream tomorrow, it's going to be later than that. Which would mean possibly too late for you. I don't know. I don't know. And then um, Sunday, my sister's coming over for her birthday stuff. Which her birthday's actually today. Uh. Hey. Hey, fuckface, guess what? What a big fucking weasel. Here! Here's your big fucking weasel! I didn't think they could get this much bigger! You see, never trust a guard named Dorian. Never trust a guard named Dorian, okay? We learned this from Breath of the Wild, and we're learning it here. Look at them side by side. They almost look like a parent and its child. I wonder if there's room for me in that little family. Now the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. The big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is, don't you think? What? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one's been here. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. I wonder what it would be if I just gave him a regular, but, you know, a non-alpha but large weasel. Thank you for the flame here. I know you Survey Corps folks work. There's no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. An Orenberry... An experienced candy S. Oh no, pardon me. Five Orin berries. As if that makes it. Uh, yeah, that'll look great with my, you know, 113 other Orin berries. Once we all start learning more about Pokemon from that Pokedex yours, I think we'll find them much less frightening. If some Pokemon stole my pack and ate the contents, I guess you could say I was useful to the Pokemon, right? I've heard that in some faraway regions, Pokemon people compete with each other by having their partner Pokemon do battle. So why... Why in the world is Hisui so far behind everywhere else? Once this hubbub's all settled, I'm headed home to face the music. Time to do right by those folks I wronged. 
Can't believe I thought I could steal someone else's lunch and simply get away with it. You... You're the... You ate that guy's stuff out of his pack, didn't you? You did, didn't you? That's just... A, it make hunting Wanda seem worth it. All the so shops and stuff in Jubilife are real nice now, so I guess time to build a new village? Hey, can anyone make friends with Pokemon if they have Pokeballs? Don't get on Palkia or, uh, deities, right? I mean, yeah. Look at this big fuck here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Wish I could talk to these people, you know? I'm like, hey, hey. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Come on. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Oh god, it's a mass outbreak of tur twigs. Okay, you know, no, no, I have, I have tur twigs. Mass outbreaks happen all the time. And you know what? Wanda's brother is up here anyway, so. We can, we can frickin' hunt for him. Yeah, that's, uh. Gone astray in the ice lands. Oh. Well, that's not going to take very long. Just look for a human person. He fell down here, didn't he? Yep. You, Wanda Savior, please help me! You didn't even recognize me. Uh, here's, these are coming back up there! Oh no. Here it comes again! He just disappeared. He's been using his NPC powers. See, now that's a freaking hyper beam. Chimborazo, let's try you. Although it's gonna no crunch. Run the one of those and thought it was a shiny for a hot second. Ah, yeah. Okay, all right. I'll be able to catch other glitters. I think I have caught other glitters. I'll be able to catch other alpha glitters. Oh, goodness me. Thank you for saving me from that complete and utter disaster. B but it's no good. I still haven't found Wanda. Yeah, about that. Did you save my brother and my trusty savior? You mean Wanda was fine all along? Oh, good. Oh, good. Now I can pass out in relief. I'm sorry I made you worry. Never mind that. What were you thinking going to a place like the Icelands without telling me? Oh, well, the fact is... fact is, I came here for this. Uh, 
I came to find that star so I could give it to you, my savior. Wanda! Okay, so it's it, it it's really not just in her looks, it's in her bizarre fixated devotion that I think she might be related to Jupiter. Okay, okay. <laughs> I still it was pretty rare, so I thought maybe I could help you with your survey work. Uh, don't give me that sad look, Zeke. Zeke stands standing there like... Of course I got one for you, too. I really owe you both so much, my savior, and the one always sending her after me. I'm going to keep working hard to become a great Survey Corps member to pay you two back for everything you've done for me. Come on, bro. Let's head back home. I'm getting really strong with all my adventures. I'm sure I can get you back to the village safe. I'm glad to hear you think so wound up at the village is that way. I knew that! I think Wanda's still gonna need you to look out for her a little while yet. More like a long while. A real long while. I really just... <laughs> okay, Wormadam, you in for a world of hurt? Okay, see, that looks like it should look like, you know, that, that looks like spatial rent, you know? It looks like it shattered something vital. But Roar of Time is just a beam, and that just doesn't look right, you know? Oh, hey, check it out. We're right. I'm not going to do a whole lot more looking for bags right now. Because, you know, we still do have fairies to capture. But, you know... Can someone get one to pro fast to see at least there's no switch way is north? <laughs> uh, I know, right? Someone else asked me for one. We could do some shopping. <laughs> Forty five thousand, yay. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go over here to the Pearl Settlement because, well, first we're gonna prosperity. <laughs> okay, uh. Okay, this way? Oh, it's just up here. Oh, yeah, now I see it. It's directly in front of me. Let me guess what you want. Hello, Mitsumi. I was just about to go find you and tell you about this precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized. I mean, I, I can guess what it is. As you should be. There isn't a single person in all of vast Hisui who wouldn't be interested in a treasure. In treasure. But bef anyway, before I show you, can you guess what I want to do? I am 15 years old. Oh, you just want to battle. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours. Like what you did atop Mount Coronet. Now, give me one moment. I need to center myself. Adamant didn't play a song. Is this because I sided with her I get extra stuff? My partners and I are going to get stronger and travel all across this wide world. Hey, Pearl Clan, y'all want to gather around? Ground is effective against. Oh. You're fighting a dragon, and that's the best you can do. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Now what do the rest of you expect to do to me, huh? Oh. Okay, well, th that was pretty hefty. Uh... I do have to say this, you're whittling me down faster than Adamant did. <laughs> okay, yeah, well. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> okay, uh. N no, not to Espeon! I just. Okay. I was holding down the other button that's supposed to switch it. Switch the, uh. Switch who uses what, or who goes against. Someone ever makes the extended version of Irida's flute song, I'll be very happy. Somewhere in the depths of my collective stuff, I have a replica of the the uh, weird instrument from the second movie. Uh, I mean, people call it an ocarina, but it doesn't... It only kind of vaguely looks like one. I wonder, Mitsumi, are there people even stronger than you out in the world with Pokemon stronger than yours? I just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here. The treasure I promised you. Lustrous Globe. When used on Palkia, this large glowing orb wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. I told this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to all mighty si to mighty Palkia, I mean. And since mighty Palkia is with you now, I'll entrust the lustrous globe to you too. Thank you, Mitsumi, for everything. Give me a hug! Come on, bring it in, girl! <laughs> The world before our eyes grows broader when we achieve true understanding with Pokemon. That's a lesson I learned thanks to you, Mitsumi. I'll cherish it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the founder of the Pearl Clan had his own problems. <laughs> Yeah, plink. I'm glad Irida is our clan leader. Without her guidance, we never would have joined forces with you or the Diamond Clan to challenge the power of Almighty Sinnoh. And perhaps the time has come for the Pearl Clan to change as well. Mm. 
Yeah, see... I'm sure this was a fine, upstanding gentleman, but... You know, it's the same thing that I warn Silene and Choi about every time I pass them. <laughs> Don't let your descendants grow up to be assholes. <laughs> If any of the Galaxy Team's clever tools can help us to stave off the cold. <laughs> snow goggles protect your eyes from the light reflected off the snow. Yeah, that's, uh, that is why I'm wearing them. Gar! Grah! I curse. You know what'll be really funny though? Because I feel like, you know, a legend's QRM or whatever is the most, you know, logical course of action to come next. And, um. If Alder's ancestor is over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, are they gonna bring that up? Because the implication, given that both Diamond and Pearl clans revere this red-headed fellow, um, would be that he's the legendary hero. Is that gonna come up in in a game set in Unova? <laughs> and I I know I probably remind her <laughs> see what that next time is her egg coin, but God knows she'd never listen. Yeah. <laughs> and if any of your descendants ever show the inclination to found and or join an apocalypse cult uh, including just to use their leader for your descendants own gain um, you are to manifest from beyond the grave and smack the shit out of them <laughs> You are to have a good long um, extra planar discussion with them about making better decisions in life. <laughs> Coin would probably think apocalypse cult. That sounds great. <laughs> Finally, I will get my revenge! No, no, th this, this happens like a few hundred years from now. Yeah, oh, I'll just have to live that long. N no, no, coin. Um, no. It, we're... <laughs> Kion! Oh, crap. He's fighting type. <laughs> the wild Uxie grew drowsy. Doesn't it spend most of its time sleeping anyway? Coin would definitely be sort of proud. Yeah, um... Clover is the one who probably wouldn't be. Just, just be like... A what? A gym leader? I saw it. So you're saying that my descendant just sits around all day in an ice hovel and gives out badges for anyone who defeats her? That's stupid.
Yeah, she's also into she's also really into fashion and boyfriends. So she has like how many boyfriends? I don't think she has any. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> If you're going to be into boyfriends, you should have at least three. Uh, three? Yeah, why not? <laughs> the... Well, I guess I already got the mind plate, didn't I? The essence of dragons. Oh, I know a website that deals... No, 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 no. Bad blackjack, bad blackjack! <laughs> The Plate of the Lakes, yes. Based on Kagata's hints, it seems like there might be three more plates left for you to find. <laughs> but first, we're going to take a short break. Not, uh, not on stream. Just, uh... We're gonna talk to this guy for once. Ride a Pokemon and smash through balloons. Ride, 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 and burst them all. <laughs> Managed to burst, say, 30 balloons. Well, that'd be an impressive start. How about it, kid? Wanna play? Yeah. Flight controls are terrible. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought we were going to be, um... Frick, 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 frick! Okay. No, you do not! <laughs> ah, frick! Oh well. Oh my lord. Oh, I hate the flying controls! And you can't go back up! Flying controls. <sighs> no, 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 I don't. I want to. Where are the rest of them? Of course, that's it. You know what? You were 17 balloons. I'm sorry, no prize for you this time. You're always welcome to try again. Yeah, screw you. Fuck you! I hate the frickin' flying in this game. You can't pull back up, even though you're you know, on a bird and not, like, a hang glider or anything. <laughs> Charm. Well, at least one of my descendants knows how to garage. The other has ground type. Eh, cool, I guess. <laughs> I, I always forget that Agatha has that weird grudge against Oak for some reason. <sighs> you know, 
Is that a person? It is. Oh! 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 That's who we found! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, you! Not one more step! Seriously! You didn't even notice someone sneaking up, but I literally fell from the sky behind you! What an amateur. Now you face the middle sister of the infamous misfortunes in this clover flux, you! Honey, you in for a world of hurt. Bunk. Don't you hit me with the horny hammer. We were just talking about you. <laughs> You know, I kind of think wearing this hoodie is helping with my stream because it makes me keep my head down, and so I'm not looking directly at the screen like that to get the shine off my glasses, you know? That is really... Ugh! I don't get it! How'd I lose? You can at least invest in some stockings, you know? Maybe steal some? I can't believe you beat me again. People in the galaxy team actually treat you like you're worth something. Clover's the only one you found on stream. Weird coincidence. <laughs> she dropped something when she fled. Oh my! I'm just taking her money. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't know she was here. I kind of figured because I know that... Um, I know they're around. Okay. So I guess there's just one more thing over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, and... Well, do I... Are there any more in this... In this area? Oh, yeah. Well, let's just do this one then. Yes, let's go to the Ice Peak Camp. This, this is what I would like to do. And then I just, you know, smear myself into the wall to change. And, uh, as you do, you know, as, as, uh, as is tradition in the Hisui region, to just ride a giant bird directly into a cliff. Speaking of giant birds, what is that up there? Is that... Is that another braviary up there?
I do believe. I probably can't actually climb this. But yeah. My partner has decided this is sacrilege. I personally do not care. <laughs> uh, I've heard the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Yeah, 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 we did that before. done nothing Heck. no oh, that's neat oh I'm levitating Oh, wouldn't have expected you to run, run into you up here, Mitsumi. What are you up to? You're here to try to find the secrets lurking in Snow Point Temple, aren't you? That's what my clairvoyance told me. You do get tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange goings on, Mitsumi. They're floating. Look! Look at the! Look at our feet! Everyone here is hovering off the ground. A store here. Well. They say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. L look at this. We are hovering. Guys, um... The stone plate and icicle plate you carry seem to be reacting to the door, but the door remains closed tight. Okay, need the steel plate. Okay, well I seem to be somewhat on the stairs. Somewhat? No, I guess I'm not. How about up here? No, I'm I'm still I'm still hovering. I'm still hovering. I, I... Okay, so I need the steel plate. Whatever it's called. Okay. Yep, still 980. How much are these legends really worth to you, Laventon? The, the cloak, flesh, fashioned for plant matter, has merged with the Pokemon as now part of the body, like fur skin. I suspect this fusion has affected the energy involved in evolution. Its earthen skin is reasonably hard. It is no problem repelling a starling's pecking, at least. Its body, confused refuse, blends into the scenery so much as to be inconspicuous. This seems to be the perfect way for Pokemon to evade the detection of predators. A powerful Pokemon that can split huge boulders with ease. It dislikes associating with others and chooses to live quietly deep within the mountains, playing with the snow. Honestly, that sounds like a pretty good life. It covers its body with an armor of ice harder than steel. It uses its breath to freeze prey, which it then devours as if they were frozen desserts. Something weird about Flareon's tail there. I don't, it, it doesn't match the rest of the fur. A curious item induced this evolution. 
Pokemon's offensive capabilities are greatly increased, but the strangeness of its behavior is magnified in equal measure. This worries me. Goodness, look at that. <laughs> okay, so I've got some other quests that we can go on. Hmm. Play to Fire Spit Island. Let's try that one, shall we? And I did mark something, um, another point of interest out in that area. You know what, here, let's also mark this. <laughs> but, no. Okay, and uh, it wouldn't do for us to be dressed like that, so... go how about that let's have ourselves another beach episode so mercury how far along are you anyway okay no I already went to a mass outbreak like that That's right, I marked something happening down here. Ah, but what could Blackjack have seen that was so important they wanted to mark it for another occasion until we were all here? It's activated to Volong at the late Guardian Nations is having it's not like picking the game back up. It's not here? What? But... This is exactly where I... But... What? I don't understand. 
Okay, fine. Fine, I'll frickin' fight you. I don't understand. There was something right over here. Maybe if I get rid of the Ambipom, then this thing will appear. It would be nice! if things work. St. Germain take a little nap. I just can't bring myself to fight any Chadots. I know I need to beat like so many of them with electric attacks, but I just can't do it. They're so cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the first time I came here to the coast, um, I got a cutscene with um, Perlina. Is it gonna be here? Ow. No, it's still not here. There was something here in this spot. And that thing is no longer here. I wonder if that means it moves around the map. And it really bothers me that I can't directly state what it is. Because uh, it was right there. Maybe it's dependent on time of day? I don't know. <sighs> right here. It was like right here. Maybe even back here. Yeah, I could just, like, warp there, but I kind of don't want to give it the satisfaction. You know, I don't- I haven't used a single scatterbang this entire time. Catching stuff in the water is a hassle and a half. Mm -hmm. 
See, you notice the the green is, the green smoke is gone. So it had to have some kind of meaning to it, right? Catching things in water, I can never see anything. Yeah, and then like the catching angle is all weird. And it's so much easier for stuff to run away because you can't sneak up on anything. That looked almost like it dropped a, um, a satchel. It's gonna be like, did you eat someone? Oh yeah, something Irida had said is um, she thanked me for the festival because um, she and um, Isken were able to spend time together out in the open. Arcanine has settled into his role as lord quite nicely. He's learned how to control his frenzied might and can use it in battle at will. Still, I'm sure you two could learn much from each other. What would you like to do? Certainly. The, honestly, the green smoke is a coating thing. Everything is red and green is just opposite in the color wheel. Of course, I'm probably wrong. Green has a weird history in this game. I, in, in this... Like... You compare some of the... Okay. Green seems to indicate new universe. And yes, I'm pretty much exclusively going by Anime Galactic. But apparently they use that a lot um, in the more recent Galactic art as well. To indicate the exact same thing. Oh, oh shit. Seriously? This, I don't think this is what I'm actually here for. I don't think I'm here. Are you alright, Mitsumi? Arcanine has really grown strong, hasn't he? You're both done well getting this far. See, I don't think I'm here to fight Arcanine again. They asked me to come here. Oh. That's what they want me to do. I was gonna say, I thought I saw two people. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mitsumi. Thank you for coming so far out of your way. Her, where Niskin? Wasn't Lena joining us? Uh, yeah, it was about that. Um, it seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she's asked us to check the Lava Dome Sanctum without her. <gasps> the nerve. <laughs> she knows I can't stand sweltering places like this! I'm sure she melt, meant no ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. <laughs> As he immediately smiles. Uh, anyway, Mitsumi, shall we go? 
Might as well get this over with. So this is Stark Mountain? It doesn't seem to be far enough for, away from the mainland for that. Careful, Mitsumi. Okay, it's gonna be like crap, did it? Okay, it's not too powerful. Gigaton ball! It's not letting me pick up the rest of the... Ah, the iron plate. This one is made of iron. The essence of steel. I love the one that was essence of rock. Is that New Galactic Arc going to come out in English dub at some point? I just get subtitles at this point, but I can't also sometimes. Probably. I mean, uh, you yeah. know. Uh, at least the heat's let up a bit. With both Arcanine and Heat Ram spewing flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. <sighs> Warden is gonna have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? Oh, yeah, yes, of course there was. After all, you are the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so, um, y y yes, it was surely best for you to come see to it. Uh, admirable of you to look after your clan's affairs. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her Growlithe harder. Uh, that's surely not the case. Even if Warden Polina may have mentioned something about the need for a um, tough love. I thought so. To think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe, but when it comes to me... Oh, let's see me do great. Well, um, just head back ahead of you then. <laughs> I've gotten involved in a lot of things that are over my head. And, uh, I think that was one of the more over my head things. Hell here, he should have here. Trey showed up for the scene. No explanation. He just showed up. Yeah, we just leave, and he's like, "Oh, uh, hi. I was, I was just trying to find some stuff. I don't know. I felt like I was drawn here for some reason." <laughs> There's something else I want to check out while we're over here. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a wisp. I can't fly over the magma. That's... No, no, no. Probably so I can't nosedive into it. But they could at least have it so it just refuses to go all the way down. There are four wisps in the area. So I'm going to pick up this satchel, and then I'm going to investigate something. 
Because I don't know if you've noticed, but... Spring Path and Turnback Cave. I mean, we could already guess that, you know, the third sibling was involved. Since we've already dealt with the other two. Oh. First off, there's another cave down here. Interesting. I haven't I haven't been in here yet. Oh. Mysterious. Like, I genuinely do not know what's in there. I'm glad even though I've had so much spoiled for me in this game, there's still stuff that I don't know. jump up higher, you know? Yeah, that's right. Keep running. Oh, I'm gonna keep on. Actually, oh, yeah, there's something to interact with up here, so it should. <laughs> oh, come on. Now, I did come here before. But it was before I had Sneasler, so I couldn't I couldn't do anything. Three wisps in this area. So the ancient cemetery isn't all that ancient, huh? I kind of expected it to be, like, back from the old times, you know? Oh! Oh! not O, but... <laughs> you know, something. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try to hit up this area again. Oh, 
Oh, it's another wisp. I'm still suspicious of how the girl told us there were 107 spirits. And we all know that it has 108. So I'm thinking she might be the last spirit. But then I also at one point found a giant keystone, so we might have to take everything there and then find another spirit. Who even knows? Well, there are people who have 100% of this game, so obviously they know. And the devs. But you know what I mean. Us normies. Oh, there's Iskin's house. Okay, yeah, we're coming up on it. I've heard someone else speculate she's under the spirit. Wouldn't surprise me, yeah. And that's something I haven't been spoiled on, so if she is or isn't, I wouldn't know either way. Uh, that thing's back. No, the thing is not here again. I'm disappointed because it's something you personally would really like to see. That one is just way off. what that gets you? Yeah, there's what it gets you. It's Star Rebius, they're almost as bad as the Parasect. <sighs> Did it disappear? Did, Did it run away? I think I had a feeling what you were looking for like 20 minutes ago. Assuming <laughs> I'm correct, I agree. Shame. Well, since I already know what it is I was looking for, you can, you can ask me. You know, it's not going to be spoilers because I already know what it is. It ran away! Stupid frickin'.
Right if Pokemon is managed through balloons, right, 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 and burst them all. Okay, yeah, sure. One minute and twenty seconds, huh? God, it's another one of these hybrids. I think that may actually require me to switch to Braviary at the last second. Mm. Uh, that... Mm. Here was 29 balloons! Okay, three Latin Ball... I have Latin Balls! I made them myself! It's gripping watching you ride Pokemon with such skill. Keep challenging yourself to reach even greater balloon-boosting heights! Yeah, suddenly he's an old-timey announcer. Okay. I, oh yeah, okay, we can just talk to Lavington here. He's back here. It's just different forms that I can keep adding onto it. See, you got anything new today? Uh, Vintner, or whatever your name is? Ginter. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll take some stealth sprays. Oh yeah, we didn't look on the Seas Legend, did we? I love that the first thing I see is just this giant parasect. Wow. Uh, medicinal harvest again. And then over here you just get this giant Bidoof. And then regular sized Geodude.
You know what, though? I think it's time regular size Geodude got a break. Eh, I don't want to put Murph to work. You know, it'd be really funny is if you could give them Heat Ran. But it's fire and steel rather than ground or rock, so. Level 61 Gastrodon Alpha. Alpha Geodude. Alpha Rhyperior. Another Alpha Rhyperior. You know what? I rather like the idea of a Gastrodon. <laughs> Pleasure to have a new farm hand. I'll go to the farm. Glad to have you. Any help you could offer? <laughs> yeah, see? You could, you know, give water to the crops. I'm sure your slime can be useful in some way. And if you get too hot, you could just cool off in the river. <laughs> yeah. Zessa wanted to know if we would catch, you know, if we found any more, so. You've collected 81 wisps so far. But there's 26 more wisps to find. Since you've now gathered 80 wisps, here's a little thank you present from me. Find nine more, I'll give you a little reward. You need to gather all the wisps that were scattered across Yasui. If you don't, something horrible will happen. Please, Mitsumi, you have to do this. I know that she's emoting a lot, she's using exclamation marks and everything, but. Okay, and it says that we caught Dialga in that special ball, but we, according to the cutscene, caught it in a heavy ball. So, I don't understand. Oh yeah, we found some more old verses while I was... Oh... I know something we can do. There's a little friend we've got to make yet. There's a little spray sound.
berries? Do you, do you not like berries, Shaman? Come on, Shaman, I want to be friends. I want to be friends, Shaman. Your stealth spray wore off. It's not like it was doing me any good. Okay, well, I'll get you out of the way so you don't interfere. Shaman. Come on. No, you're not what I'm looking for. Come on. No. I don't even want to catch all of you. Frick. Going to be waylaid by butterflies. Oh, come on. That that changed direction at the last second. Come on. So now I gotta connect to the internet so someone can find my bag. <laughs> okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get the ones that are popular with fairies and woodland creatures. You're so choppy right now. I don't understand. I guess earlier, instead of saying that um, green seems to signify new world, I should have just said it reminds me of that episode. Though that episode also does live rent free in my head for um, all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Okay, 
which one's which? Salt cake, resemblance to grass. Honey cake is fairy-like charms. And grain cake is dwell and wander among the fields. So all of those could sum up shaman. Because this doesn't say fairy type. It says fairy-like charms. I really hate to have to fight it. It's actually working. Okay, fine. Uh, you guys, I have no problems fighting. Weak. It's a good thing the flowers around here are immune to fire damage because otherwise this would feel like sacrilege! Oh, did I miss anything? My internet's been garbage tonight and kicked me out for about 10 minutes. Yeah, I was wondering why you didn't answer my question about what did you think I was looking for. And, uh, yeah, the only thing you've really missed is I've been trying to catch Shaman. Trying. Also, I got beat up by butterflies when I tried, so... Do I have marked on the map? No, oh, I can get rid of that. Let's just mark that down. What were you looking for back on the beach? Yeah, you said you had a feeling, and I asked you what, what uh, you thought it was, because you said I think I had a feeling. What you're, yeah. The thing that I was very disappointed not to find on the beach. I think Shaman might have despawned.
Well, let's go get that satchel and then we'll come back. Is that it for okay? Yay! Seventy-seven merit points. It's weird because I connected to the internet for this, but I haven't gotten any uh, anyone else's. Okay, so let's try this again. Knowing what I know about the two of us, I kind of assumed you're looking for coin. No real reason for it other than that. It, I can't remember which one it was, but it was either her or Clover that was there. Or not Clover, uh, Charm. One of them was there before. And so I put a marker on her location, and now she's no longer there. Maybe it's because I ran into her sister first. I don't know. Like, I kind of assumed you could just, you know, walk into any of them. see it this time. Maybe it completely despawned and I have to refresh the area. Fixed this way one spot for too long. You rob less people that way. Yeah, but you would think, you know, they'd be in like a town or something for that. It's not like this area has a lot, a lot of people to rob from. I mean, there's basically a galaxy team, and that's about it. Okay. okay. No, that's that is the grass underneath. <sighs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, yes. A colorful and incredibly beautiful, but also greedy Pokemon. In an effort to keep its favorite food all to itself, it'll chase away Combi as they try to gather nectar. Uh, 
Let's return to the village. Might as well. Okay, well, let's see here. We've got... Moonview Arena. Oh, okay, I know what that one would be. And, well, we could, we could do either of those right now. And if we go to Moonview Arena, we can also do the Dirksome Nightmare. But... If we gotta find Darkrai... Well... If we go to find Darkrai, I think we need to dress for the occasion. I mean, it's not his new outfit, but... <laughs> We're also gonna find Cresselia like this. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay, Clamberclaw Cliffs or something, right? Yeah, right up there. Okay, I guess Mountain Camp would have been better. Where... Oh well. Oh hey, the fire just started on its own. Neat. Oh yeah, and I gotta go up there at night, don't I? Yeah, at night. I've been waiting for that outfit. Okay, so I guess in the meantime, we can just, you know, do some of this. Whee! <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the hair. <laughs> Although, I do think it's funny that, um, you know, you get your hair done by Erezu, and she can't give you her own hairstyle. You know, you, you'd think you'd be able to, like, get hairstyles of characters in this game. You know, like, oh, I want my hair done like Silene's. Or, you know, like, I want my hair done like Perlina's. Granted, Iskins is kind of an option, but... <laughs> This is the kind of just shorn version. There it is, right there. Okay, and... King character hairstyles would be so much fun. It would be so much fun 
if you know if the main games did it too, you know. I mean, they, they already let you get, like, some things that are indicative of other characters. I mean, Sword and Shield got a little weird with it. Like, they, for some reason, you're able to get Lissandra's um, visor and Gitsis's lens is monocle or whatever you call that. You know, and this game just flat out gives you Cyrus's entire outfit. Someone um someone proposed the idea of him seeing the outfit in a museum and just thinking, yes, that. That is what I will wear. <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, obviously not just the villain stuff. It's like, why can't you get the hairstyle of the champion or whoever? That'd be a lot of fun. You know, gym leaders, other key characters and stuff. It would have especially made sense in Galar. What with the whole focus on celebrity. Imagine walking around with Oleana's hairdo. <laughs> Oleana's hairdo paired with Lissandra's visor. <laughs> Okay, what? Volo, if that's you trying to sneak up behind- okay. certain really wanting Sonya's hair color but never getting the option. These things are weird sometimes. Just sometimes. Oh, honey. Bronzer, we have better things to do here. You, um, you probably shouldn't stick around. Or honey, you're just gonna get hurt. There it is. some Phantom Ganon vibes out of this thing. Yeah, it just 
vanishes the second it... The second I throw the ball. Maybe I have to wait for it to attack. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Jeez, I gotta find something to keep it. And of course, what I'm not doing. Frick, frick God of time, come on! And unlike... Uh... Yeah, unlike with uh, Heat Ran, there's nothing lying around to hit it with. Is this where it turns out I should have been keeping, um... Where it turns out I should have been keeping, um, spoiled apricorns the whole time? Instead of, you know, tossing them at every opportunity, I should have been tossing them. <laughs> no, no, no! Okay, come on, another bronze or Yes, I have better things to do, and if this bronze arm really wants to hang around, it'd be a nuisance. That wasn't even a Pokeball. That was just the one I already have Dialga in. There's got to be a puzzle to this. Jeez, I don't remember the music for this thing being so freaky deaky. Distortion. 
genuinely confusing you're supposed to stun it or something. I don't know. This isn't even at night anymore. So I'm kind of surprised that it stuck around. It should take a second to recognize its surroundings. Of course not. Mm -hmm. Even though it seems to be doing its level best to absolutely avoid me. That should not be hitting the rock! Somehow, oh, God, hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to the summit camp. Gonna rest just a little while. I'm gonna make uh, as many of those as I can, which is only ten, because I'm running low on iron chunks. There, you got any iron chunks for me? No, that's not what I wanted to You do not, in fact, have any iron chunks. Monstrous Pokemon. Okay, so, well, here. do. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go here. We'll go get the, the item. And then we're gonna check out the uh, the distortion, which should have fully which should fully form by then. There, get some chunks in our system here. No that is chunks. No, stop it! <sighs> yes, I see more chunks down there too. Okay. Okay, 
get rid of the pin. Head to the distortion area, which sounds like it's about to... There we go. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Stop it! Maybe... No! I don't want to be in the air right now. I'm not even... I'm not even hitting the plus button. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Oh, I remember why. Because whenever I get close to a tree or something, it tries to activate uh, sneezing. Earth. The descriptions of the statues don't change no matter how much you know about what they depict. It's a statue of a Pokemon with an air of the divine. Ancient people must have worshipped it. <laughs> Something got stuck in the box. like the calmest one I've ever seen. Yeah, even with stuff like that popping up. It's still not all that active in here. Usually I'm like being hounded constantly. Having to duck in and out. Yeah, an angry Eevee is just kind of funny. I mean, you know, not to deny that canines can indeed get angry and all, but just when it's so known for being adorable. Usually that's kind of a thing I run into. I run into shit, shit getting angry with me. For some reason, there are so many of those things coming at me. Um, who's... Uh, Gl Gliscor. No, not Gliscor. Why did I say Gliscor? I don't know. The, the Scorpy evolution. Not, not the Gliscor. Not the Gligar evolution, the Scorpi evolution. I am blanking on its name right now. Okay, I'm hearing the rumbling, so this is almost done. Ah, of course. Eh. And of course it's not night anymore, so... My mom just texted up to say, I made poached eggs if you want. <laughs> mom, my, my, uh, my wisdom tooth extraction was almost two months ago. Um, I am... Not really in the, uh, 
mood for... <laughs> rather, in the need for... Potions. Potion eggs always seem a little awkward to me anyway. What the hell? Up there, yeah, of course. Yeah, and I have caught the, um, what's-his-face running around up there. I'm gonna see if I can find out how to catch the Dark Rider up quick, but I'm still so confused. Imagine if they made a true open world Pokemon game. Like, not just like Monster Hunter style open world, like this one is. And I, and, you know, and I recognize, you know, this is their first time doing it. But imagine if they give us something. I'm getting into. Imagine, you know, I mean, I go back to Breath of the Wild because that and Skyrim are my two major open world uh, experiences. Yeah, I don't really talk about Skyrim a whole lot, but I did play it for like six months straight at one point. I played basically it and Animal Crossing and that was like 100% of my gameplay. I don't understand why it's not even showing me where it is on the map anymore. What? The I'm getting so further away from it. Understand? I do not understand. There is so much going on here. There is so much. That I need to have explained to me. I hate how just... No, I want the piece of wood! There! I had just... That can just knock you straight out of the... Out of whatever Pokemon you're riding on, you know? Stop it. I want the beans. I do not want the trees. No. Wait, did I just see someone talk? Did I just see a speech bubble? <gasps> hey. 
Hey, Mercury! Found something even better than Darkrai! <laughs> Let me know when you're here and I'll engage. Mercury. Okay. I came back here just in time. Hey. A little trick Volo taught me. Hi. You don't appear to be frightened to see me. Yeah, so we relocate onto flatter ground. <laughs> Daring to approach me rather than turn tail and run. You've got courage, I'll give you that. Now you face the eldest of the misfortunes. This unlucky charm will ensure you fall in battle. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you, uh, you really think you can get one over on me, huh, Charm? of course. Infernal Parade. Oh, come on! Really? Alright, fine. Alright, fine. I can do this. <laughs> okay, there's supposed to be bite, but that was more of a stomp. Oh no, you made my Snorlax drowsy. Oh, it would be a shame if the species wasn't specifically set up to handle something like that. That wasn't its default state of being. Everything is... I... <sighs> what a disgrace. No, you're not gonna say anything character relevatory? Oh, there we go. <sighs> Quite formidable, aren't you? This is only a test. Now I know how, more, how about you more about how you fight, and I won't hold back next time. Burv jacket, yay! It's actually like a, a full on, like there's a tail and everything. Hey, Ray. Ah, oh, frick it. And now it's morning. Is this the area that. Yes, that's the area I was fighting in. Hey, check it out, Ray. We evolved Jedi all the way. 
<laughs> and now he knows Hyper Beam. Yes, it's hilarious. I was reading it on uh, uh, out loud earlier. Yeah, we changed up our outfit a little bit. By which I mean we changed it up entirely. Um... <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll just mark here. Well, you know what? Let's take a little stroll. Back to the... The whole Porygon line has just the best dex entries. We gotta go back to camp anyway. Because we ended up with some items. I wore a bit with that in the post game, but also got the ugly haircut with teal. You mean the the grunt haircut or Cyrus's haircut? Mercury and I were discussing earlier that you really grunt hair, ah yes. That you really should, like, not just in this game, but in like all the games where you can do customization. Um, be able to select a lot more hair, but uh, but not just general hairstyles, but like for specific characters, because they're they're doing stuff like giving us these outfits, but they're not um, you know, we generally want to go the whole nine yards, yeah. It... I'm gonna get more. You know, like, you should be able to tell the stylist, you know, I want the Cynthia. Or, yeah. I want the Professor Sycamore. Well, God knows why. <laughs> I guess he has okay hair. <laughs> Or then you could get like more advanced hairstyles. Like, I want the Gardenia. I want the Guzma. <laughs> you know, the ones where it'd be multicolor. <laughs> oh, it's, it's only evening and it's already there. Sure, me people would those first two, and I'll see what the stylist can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't know if that's a joke about stylist slash stylus, or if it's a joke about how people want those characters. <laughs> Either one is pretty funny, but... I just don't know which one we're dealing with. <laughs> the latter, ah yes. Okay, because if it's not stunning, or uh, dark right, then I got. Okay, see, I'm trying to stun it, and I got no clue what to do. Let's see, I got- oh. It's just flat out opponents. Da -na -na, na -na -na. I don't know why they picked those specific notes. I mean, I know Koji Kondo likes to do a bunch of that stuff, but... No, no, it did not work. The answer of how to do it. Uh, no, this is only my second time trying it, so let me try to figure it out. Because all I can think of is, like, stunning.
I, I do want to try to figure this out for myself. I'm going to guess that you can't do anything when it's in um, the little ones. It has to be like an attack. Come on, come on. Let me dodge. Let me dodge. Let me dodge. Is this something that the guy back at camp can tell me more about? The guy who gave me the assignment. You know what? Instead of that, I'm going to mark this with a star. <sighs> Is this something that's going to require, like, specific equipment? And if so, do I have the means on me? Do you think the actual Cyrus had this much trouble? I feel like in Masters it just kind of affixed itself to him. It was just like, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, I am eating well tonight. My goodness. <laughs> I just have to convince this man to bring out his inner goth, and oh wow, that took less convincing than, uh, than I expected. <laughs> Inside the rocks? Get stuck in the rocks in one of my attempts. <laughs> of course. You know, it is kind of funny considering that Dark Rise meant to be the counterpart to Cresselia that it's genderless instead of male because Cresselia is always female. That basically, you need luck and good timing, no special equipment. <sighs> hey, you know what? We've been going for three hours and have no dropped frames. Break here, so I'll just. I don't even think it was meant to be a puzzle, just weird game design. Ah, uh, yeah. So, you're, what you're saying is this is that one boss? 
Okay, all right. That was just because my finger slipped. So, do I have to time it right when Darkrai manifests? Like, is there a grace period where... Like, does the ball have to be in flight by the time Darkrai shows up? Okay, well, that's a, at least a good way to get it to reset its position. Okay. Is it only really... really? Okay, I hit it once, didn't I? Didn't I just hit it? You know what? I'll use orange berries to juke it. Frickin' I have plenty of orange berries. They're right next to each other. Okay, well, you know what? I've got 73 Ultra Balls, and that's fine. <laughs> Fuck! Catch you this way. There's a second way if you want to know. Uh, give me a hint, but don't tell me exactly. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> I guess there's a third way. <laughs> Hitting it as it appears just with something else. 
Okay, well right now I have to focus just on staying away from it until the red goes away. Do I hit it with my Pokeball? Drawing it into battle. This way, I guess I don't learn it. I don't lose anything. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, well, at least I know what to do. Yeah, of course you. Are you ever not? In... I guess the one in the movie is pretty much. The... But you specifically, are you ever not enraged? When I catch you, we're gonna have a serious talk about your behavior. No, no, I did want to. <laughs> Astounding! Uh, now everyone will be able to rest easy. Yes, now no one else will fall victim to such dark nightmares. I suppose I better be heading back home myself now, but I won't ever forget what you did. Farewell, young one. <laughs> You're not enraged. Yep, that's definitely a Cyrus Pokemon. <laughs> okay, well, I can take that stamp off there now. Don't worry, Kale, the internet will be invented in a few years. It stamps like I keep track of the, it used to have to keep track of which spirit tomb things I got. Ah. Well, earlier I was using it to mark where I had found something earlier to go back to when I was streaming, and then I went back there and it wasn't there. But then we found another one just like it in so somewhere else, so. It was actually right before you got here.
a dense fuzz a grunt like you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Look at the uniform, please. Look at the uniform, please. Does that, does that look like a grunt uniform to you? Selling Mercury Ray saw um, a comment someone made of, uh, about this outfit of Cyrus seeing this in a museum and going, yes, yes, I will wear that. <laughs> I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Do you know the Pokemon called Cresselia? Well, I mean, not personally, but um, by reputation, yeah. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Millie, I hope you realize that in my head, I have this whole elaborate thing called Operation Push Millie Down Some Stairs, right? I just want you to know that. Right now, you're on, like, step five. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leader outfit. <laughs> Cresselia is said to be the very embodiment of the crescent moon. Her feathers are called lunar feathers. They changed the translation of it now, huh? Slay like adding to the amount of stairs I'd like to push Molly down. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's, it's usually been Lunar Wing, which I suppose was always kind of an awkward translation because it was always just a single feather, but legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. Oh, that's great, because I, uh, I just got this thing called Darkrai, and, uh... <laughs> well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She's descended upon Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about Electra that I can't even sleep, never mind dream. Oh, really? Bits change it too? Huh. I didn't. I haven't done uh, the post game yet. I was, like, so steamed about beating Cynthia. It took me, you know, as you know, four hours. And I still couldn't. So then I had to spend the entire next day leveling everything up to level 70, so. I think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers. Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. Okay, so this is after the invention of the croissant. Which actually I think is doable, since I'm pretty sure croissants were invented in like the Middle Ages. I think they were invented during the Crusades, weren't they? Okay. When were... When were croissants invented? I almost said that in Melee's voice. Crescent-shaped breads have been made since the Renaissance, and crescent-shaped cakes have possibly since antiquity. The modern croissant was developed in the early 20th century. What? There's a modern croissant? The kipferl, the origin of croissant, can be dated back to at least the 13th century in Austria. It can be made... Uh, plain or with nuts or other fillings. Some consider the rugelach a form of kipferl. Okay, well that makes sense. If you guys know what rugelach is, it's really yummy. <laughs> skimmed something should have... Uh, 17th century, oops, skimmed something should have actually I read it all. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, okay, yeah, it seems that this might be um, 
invented later. But the <laughs> but the stories that it may have been uh, celebrating a Turkish defeat has led to croissants being banned by some Islamic fundamentalists. Ah, oh, God, religious fundamentalists are so bizarre. Especially if, like they say in this case, you know, crescent-shaped bread goes back farther than that. <laughs> uh, do it for my poor electrode. You know, I realized something. Um, I use... Uh, I'm using some of the voices that I used from Final Fantasy in a nutshell. Um, but Melly is totally my Aerith voice. Oh my god. <laughs> and then um, Perlina is my Terra voice. <laughs> um, no one has yet to be my Kuja voice, but um, my... Uh, I mean, my brawn voice was just my old lady voice, so I've been using that a lot. You know, including for um, what's her face here that is, was talking just a second ago and whose name already escapes me. Though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad if she at least recognizes the perfection of the arena. She'll look after it with loving care by the great Malay. Uh -huh, yeah, sure, whatever. I actually put my hair and eyebrows different colors this time. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Holy, holy schlamoli. Okay. Um, okay, it's inverted controls. Um, okay. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, oh! Okay. Okay, yeah, fine. You keep, uh... Fan theories place this game closest to Meiji Restoration. Time periods around 1870. Which really doesn't seem far enough back since they told us this game took place in ancient times. Oh, good. Okay, I did time it right. Okay. You're a psychic type, so I don't want to use a ghost move. I feel like that. Okay, good. You know, give us something that actually is set in ancient times, even if it's just Poke Ancient. You know, like how for some reason we had the French aristocracy 3,000 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Live alive, that's how you say it? Because I had always said it live alive. And then um, the the trailer said it completely differently. But yeah, a game that takes us between various time periods would be really cool. And, you know, it would make perfect sense with canon. You know, we already have the ability to travel through time. We've had time travel plots. You know, we've had multi-universe plots. It's like, okay. K 
can I spoil a different game? Completely different, not even in this series. Can I spoil one of the Zelda games for you? <laughs> okay, uh... I know all the Zelda spoilers, so it depends on who else here cares. <laughs> Mercury, you care about Zelda spoilers? <laughs> I just want to make sure, because, uh, you know, I want to be able to say when, uh, when to tell the YouTube viewers to skip ahead. I don't know, it's also a or whatever, I don't care. Well, okay. Skip ahead about 30 seconds from now if you're watching on YouTube and don't want uh, spoilers. Um, okay, so Age of Calamity was touted as being the prequel to um, Breath of the Wild, and then it turned out to be an alternate universe. Um, where you, in fact, can divert the events of Breath of the Wild entirely. And people got very angry about that and kept insisting that it could not possibly be a canon game, even though we have had games where you change the past before. <laughs> I probably should have made some sort of hand gesture or something. Okay, but anyway, though, yes. The end spoilers. It's just people got angry and insisted a game couldn't be canon because it had done something that other canon games had already done. It is very weird. It is very weird. I said people annoyed by surprised people made canon arguments. Yeah, it um it gets pretty heated to this day. And then it's like, well, even though they said all this, they never actually used the word canon, so it doesn't count. And it's like, yeah, and Which actually reminds me of something else. There's, I can understand the debate for the original, though. It, it reminds me of um, this is this is gonna sound stupid because it has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Um, but um, one time I was arguing with a guy on Tumblr. I know, I know, right? <laughs> there was my first mistake. But um, he was trying to say that ableism or not ableism, ageism was just uh, kids complaining that they're not taken seriously because they're kids. And it's like, um, y you realize organizations like the AARP are set up to fight against ageism. Right? It's like an actual huge problem. And he said that because the word ageism did not appear on the AARP website, that I was full of shit. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> All it took was getting my mind off things. And it was just like, well, one, I'm absolutely positive it does, and later I actually checked, and yes, it did. And two, so it has to use a specific word, because it did use age-based discrimination, which is the exact same thing. So I, I run into the weirdest people online. The essence of darkness. So I get this from Cresselia, but, but Dark Rise optional. And I get jack shit for and I you know I tell you what I get from Darkrai. I get a sore wrist from Darkrai. Frickin'. Mm. 
Calabash. I keep wanting to call her Calabash. You know, like the melons. Well, well, this is unexpected. Instead of a lunar feather, you got some kind of a plate. I do feel power emanating from it, though. Oh, misusing the word has really made the, just made the Diali issue worse. I know, right? In any case, if Cresselia did not gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need for them. Says you! Not bad at all, Grunt. Okay, again, again. Uniform? Yeah? And I realize, you know, my character would be pointing to the galactic -y uniform and everything, but I am pointing to, you know, a budgie. But even then, this is very much indicative of not a grunt. Okay, I mean, because it's stylish. Yeah, he's just got the, the cheek feathers and the. It's got winglings. And it's got a tail. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know this this is a uh, this is a primo outfit it uh, should not be mistaken for that of a grunt though I suppose anyone with enough luck to best the great melee should be able to handle at least that much okay seven steps thinking about it a halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner to help my lord and I grow stronger still five steps I'll go back to the settlement and tell the others about the feather that we didn't get. Mel, you're up to 11 stairs, buddy. <laughs> One plate left. Okay, that was ominous. Right as I started swinging the camera around, my, um, uh, my computer went just a little dark. <laughs> Melly crosses over with Digimon Frontier and Homestuck. I thought it was uh, MS Paint Adventures that. Well, I guess that's kind of like Homestuck is part of MS Paint Adventures, right? The I warned you about stairs, bro. That thing. 2,548p for catching two legendaries! Flates using a mysterious energy. Padding engraved on its back is held as sacred and can sometimes be found in imagery from ancient cemeteries and other time-worn places. Oh, wow, I'm already at research level 8 because I saw it using Moonblast five times! Uh. Oh, Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. Okay. In lore was written by a Homestuck character, Dave Strider's brother. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to do now? A nice, safe trip back to Jubilife. All right. <laughs> hey, it's my cleavor. How you doing? You look exhausted. Is it just hard to carry those big things around all day? This one's taking a nap, too, though. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> she keeps saying she's come up with the ultimate recipe, but she doesn't give me anything new. One of the 
these days I've got to actually just sit down and read Homestuck, don't I? <laughs> I got to I, I I'm curious as to what all the fuss was about. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm going to need more gigaton balls, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. If we're going if we're going back up to catch what's its face. Okay. Question for people who know the spoilers. I do not want actual spoilers here, but I just want to know. If I do this mission, does that take me directly into the end game? Okay. Or do I do I have time to go accomplish this too? And the, uh, the Manaphy one. And then their Mercury's a little behind. Huh, that's gonna get really awkward because I have a feeling we might be heading into the last part. Hello there. How you doing? I wish you could interact with them over the fence. Oh, what? Did I interact with them? Okay. Oh, by the way, Ray of Truth, I want to show you. <laughs> oh! Goodness, hello there! Hi, how are you? Nodding off, huh? Probably boiling in this outfit. Okay, I finally cheesed this by giving him a freaking alpha. Pokemon won't ever disappear from the world, no matter how many you catch. It means we're already going to need people like me to stand guard. Always good. Wow, even their cries are different. That's funny. Professor Laventon sure goes to the base camps a lot. He says it's just for the sake of his research, but it's still amazing. I hope to never again see people in Pokemon pitted against one another. Yeah, same. <laughs> Although, have you heard of Mystery Dungeon? <laughs> Talked to the professor and gotten the gifts? You mean the, the Pokemon? Yeah, I, I got the Pokemon. The other starters? Yeah, yeah. I guess you can't kind of phrase okay with it. I'm pretty sure I can guess what's going to happen. Apparently the last... The, the last item space for this guy costs a million.
You know, I expect great things of you. Carry on a good fight out there. Talk to you guys already. Talk to every. It's such an odd place for a shelf like that. <laughs> Oh, you are back in your office. I suppose there is no end to the study of Pokemon, even if the Pokedex is complete. That's all you have to say to me. After all the shit you put me through. Okay, well, I think tonight we're going to look for Shaman and Manaphy. Which means I'm gonna go get changed. Because this outfit is not fit for those... Shame and effort. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Good point. That's a good point. This time, I hate to say it, but uh, I think we're going to have to go on the offensive. <laughs> I hate to do it, but... Get upon Cyrus's outfit for it, because I believe Peter assumed to be the fight with Arceus and Spear Pillar ultimate irony, anyone? I might. Yes, okay. Engaged you in battle. Yes, I would like to throw an Ultra Ball. Yes, please. <laughs> well, I, I should have done that like a million years ago. Grit Rock one. Okay.
I got my... No one has found my satchel yet. You know what? Let's, uh... I, I might as well. No. This one. Thank you. So which, uh, which ride Pokemon from this game would you guys most want to ride on in real life? I like Ursaluna. Because this? No. <laughs> ah, that was shockingly close. Let's see if there's anything else I should be aware of. Eh, no. All right. Okay, so there's that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I need to do that one. Seas Legend. Okay. Why, well, yes, let's go back to the Fieldlands camp. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Come on. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Times you've seen it use Earth Power, times you've seen it use Seed Flare. I've seen it use Earth Power a hell of a lot more than that, thank you very much. Or a Sneasler who wouldn't want to ride a bear and Sneasler is a badass. <laughs> I guess what lacks Sneasler down a few points for me is that you don't really get to see where you're going, you know? And if we're going to the beach, let's go with a seascape look. with fairy-like charms. That's so confusing to me, because it doesn't say fairy types. It says fairy-like charms, and that could mean a lot of things. So, does this mean this is the area that the Ginkgo Guild is from, or what? Gonna actually be over here anyway. 
Whoa. Y'all heard that? Excuse me. Out of the way. I just... Oh. Hello. We'll pick up the satchel around here. And I've climbed those already, those spires. Come. My favorite character in this game, not counting any galactics, because some of us have obvious biases. Hmm. Well, I like Silene independently of that. <laughs> like if she was you know just like her descendant I'd have to dock points for not being original <laughs> and of course you know Irida and Adaman they're absolute gold you know, despite being diamond and pearl, they're gold. <laughs> There's just so many great characters in this. I mean, even Melly is charming, you know, in a mean girl sort of way. <laughs> I wish we knew more about Laventon. Like, we get a lot of him, but we don't get a lot about him. I mean, he's obviously from Galar. But that's really about all we know. I just, I have this feeling... thing will be out on this hand area. I like how this does the the um, uh, Ursaluna does a little victory dance after finding an item. Hmm. Someone else is playing this. Well, how about you, Ray? Who's your favorite characters in this game? 
Also, Mercury, I assume that you like the other um, misfortunes as well. <laughs> oh my ah rude trying to call out Jani, stop it. Why doesn't it let me zero in on those? Oh my god, I actually did. So he's such a great character of her own merit, I totally agree. Lavinson might be my favorite, though. He's so endearing for some reason. I like Selena, Rezu, and Volo. Oh, I know, right? Everyone loves Selene, it's great. Remember when everyone was so suspicious of her? Turned out it was Commodo we had to be suspicious of when he gave that weird speech on the beach. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just a six finger to be more of a red herring. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I like trying to subvert the expectations of the audience, even though there's a whole bunch of people who apparently are playing this having not played any previous Pokemon game. Which is just surreal to me. Expected Volo to be the villain as a role reversal. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Even but like even before we knew Volo existed. As this Fisher is for even for Pokemon, I felt that was too obvious. <laughs> Ever since we found out Silene existed, even before we found out Volo existed, I was like, I want there to be an ancestral Cynthia in this game, and I want probably him to be the villain. <laughs> and we'll see where that takes us. Kamino being a antagonist was an interesting twist. I wouldn't really call him a villain, but he's definitely an antagonist of this game. And yes, that means that um, when I break the spoiler embargo on the uh, villain's discord, um, I am going to allow Commodo. <laughs> but... You know, barring some huge unforeseen twist in this game, yeah, I would say he counts, yeah. Barring something huge, no, um, it means unfortunately, um, we'll have to stop posting Silene and Arezu. And coin, but I don't think anyone ever posted coin. No one ever posted Choi either, and we knew about him for a while. <laughs> he did attempt a genocide. Yeah, more or less. Which, 
is kind of weird, especially considering he didn't try anything against the whole ranch of Pokemon that was sitting right there in front of him the whole time. But yeah, that speech he gave was an uncomfortable mix. I mean, it had a little dash of Cyrus in it, but it was mostly reminding me of some bizarre mix of Lysandra and N. And that is a really, really, really bizarre mix. He had Digimon villain vibes. Oh, oh, I gotta tell you earlier, I was watching a video earlier about fan fiction, and I guess, like, the, the, the person who is doing it must have, like, specific fandoms that she looks at, because she, she, she would ask, she was asking, like, um, she, she had asked her social media followers for the weirdest fan fiction they'd ever read, and... The name Oikawa kept popping up, and I was like, ah? Uh? And I'd look back at the screen, and it was always this completely different one, and I was just like... It's never Yukio. It's never Yukio. It never is. <laughs> <laughs> no love for the gothest man in all Japan. <laughs> Although no love is part of his problem, isn't it? <laughs> what do you mean go to stop put stop blacking out spoilers? Yeah, um Well just because Barring any unforeseen circumstances in the endgame here, um, Arezu and Silene are not villains. So, well, but I, I mean, now we now we do have the um, other character love, non-villain love area, so we can post them in there. But they're not going to go in the galactic area. <laughs> So there's this. I still don't have any. Any idea where to find the freaking. Don't worry, I'm not closing down the Discord. I wouldn't do that. Gotta be something that I'm supposed to find here. But yeah, when, um, because we can't, you know, spoiler everything forever. Let's see, there's gotta be something. Is it something I'm gonna have to go back and just swim around for? It's okay. I'm just walking. Just started to sketch with Coin and Saturn, so it's a pick of order. Maybe share it when I'm done. Well, if Saturn's in it, then you can post it in Galactic. Although, you know, Coin is kind of a villain anyway. 
So, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I excluded her from earlier. I mean, she's about as evil as Jesse James and Meowth, but, you know, they qualify. <laughs> Can you imagine the misfortunes meeting the Rocket Trio? They would be like the best thing ever. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So much just iron chunks. Great. You wanted something over here, didn't you? But... <laughs> Ball of mud. Make me do all that for a ball of mud. Okay, no. Five balls of mud. Because that totally makes a difference, doesn't it? Hey, look, I can do the lost and found while I'm here. I heard someone else compare the misfortunes to the Rocket Trio. I can't unsee that. <laughs> they both have a cat with them, too. <laughs> Somewhere, Saturn just got very offended and doesn't know why. <laughs> Running out of iron chunks. I need more chunkage. <laughs> okay, I thought that was an iron chunk, but no, it was a shellos, so no. We will not pick up the shellos. I have a feeling my hands would tingle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's another of the stories. Old verse 10. Twas long ago here in the name Hero. He led his retinue ten Pokemon against the almighty unknowable. In battle did his valiance proclaim at last the strength of humble humankind. The great unknowable approved this feat and to its domain of no place returned. Cool. I think I have the idea that I've been going in the wrong place because I think I remembered... I think I remembered someone saying that it was in the south. Somehow I got the idea that that was up in the hand, and then I got the idea that it was to the north. 
But who knows, maybe the idea that it's to the south is a complete misnomer as well. I'm gonna blast this rocket fish all across the land! <laughs> Close to that area. Do you want me to see if, uh, if she's here? Yes, we, we know the answer to that is going to be yes. Yes. St. Germain a little too. Is not here. Of course. We're getting into the pink mist. Okay, so you think it's going to be on one of these little islands? Typified as this aggressive before Hisuian version. Hmm. I know this is the island with the Blissy on it. Just gonna pop in. There we go. Oh, no, it's just a chancy. Just a chancy, I say. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, come on. You want to take me on? Wild might. Oh, god dang, look at that. Gigaton ball, there we go. And I'm going to have to make more. Where can buy more gigaton balls? I have lots of money. Well, this is getting rid of some of the uh, obligations I have for filling out the decks. Okay. 
With the red moving all around the eyes, it looks like it's bleeding. And that's really disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chimborazo. Hmm. Oh, we're just back here again. another seaside cave we missed. I'm going to look on the inside of the bay. Space time distortion seems to be forming. Yeah. Yeah. This one over there, huh? Or is that the one we went to? Is that the one with the painting inside it? Yeah, I think that's the one with the painting. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I did, my mother would say, Did you ever see a bear combing its hair down by the bay, down by the bay, where the water was grown? This is just the same one. Okay, that's a noise to run away from real fast. This is where we get the ranger crossover. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they sent it adrift on the stream and hoped it would uh, end up in someone's. Uh, that would require them to remember ranger exists, though. Now I bet it would be difficult to remake ranger on the Switch, but not impossible. Not impossible. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is you just, you couldn't ever play it in docked mode. You'd have to always play it in handheld, which would make streaming it impossible. Unless you just swirl your they did Joy-Con, the world ends with you, they can do Ranger. Togetic's offensive stats were raised. Uh huh. Togetic used a baby doll eyes. Okay, you need to chill.
Staravia is looking around. Togetic is too drowsy to move. Yes, throw a great ball, please. Did. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, of course you did. Somehow, Togetic evaded all of that. <laughs> Actually finished the ranger games. I reached a point I couldn't get past. Just give up with the kid. I finished two and three, but I could not beat one. I got to Gordor, and I just could not with that man. Rather specifically, I got to Gordor's Ente. You only beat one. Oh goodness! Well, between us, uh. Between us, we have the full experience then, huh? You know what? I'm just gonna warp here. I did that before you said that. Ah, ah goodness. Golly, it's a good thing we came here to deliver stuff. Because I want to go. I'm going to go to the time space distortion now that we're back this way. This easy listening music just doesn't really fit. Don't you get it, bird? This whole place needs to be evacuated now! Fine. Don't listen. See where that gets you. It should be almost formed by now. And look how dark it is in here. Well, not when you look up, but... Oh yeah, I guess I only kind of finished Ranger 3 because I had that weird thing where you needed a second player to go back in time and do the Steelhead dungeons or whatever they were called. That's right, you didn't see nothing. Okay, rumbling's picking up. 
I did beat three, just completely forgot it until now. Awesome. And of course, two is the one that gave us the term evolutions. I mean, it was already used in Fanon, but that's the one that made it canon. Murph asked you to bring him all, all of them. There, there was rumbling. I really wish there was a countdown, you know? Oh. Just having a little rest there, huh? Don't let me stop you. I'm almost certain I misspelled Jermaine. <sighs> oh, no, you don't. You want to throw down? Let's throw down. Okay, I hear the rumbling. Listen to the jingle, to the rumble and the roar. She runs along the woodlands, over hills and by the shore. <sighs> there we go. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh-huh. See, when I first started coming in these, I thought that if you got hit by one of those little lightning wisps that you would take damage. Those weird little electric crackles in the air, or energy crackles, or whatever they are. I have a feeling that I might have to start saving my nuggets because I th think they might be used for crafting. But I don't know. I don't have any idea. I also kept dodge rolling everywhere when I first started coming into these. Wow. I mean, see, that's probably something I could have dodge rolled from. But I did not think of it. Ah, uh, here's something else. Uh, yeah, I need green shards and I need red shards. For the most part. I think it's funny. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, saw when I posted... Um, did I even post it on the Villains Discord? I don't remember. But, um... You can ride in here and pick up shards. Yeah, but it's easier for me because I can, like, turn better. Um, I don't know if I posted it on the Villains Discord. Oh, I'm dropping frames now. Crap. But, um... Zero Punctuation did a review of this game. It'll be on YouTube next week. Um, and the man does not know Pokemon. At all. He played half of White, and that was it. So, to see him try to review this game is so freaking bizarre. It's like an exercise in surrealism, almost. And I don't think it's necessarily like, um, you know, when other people pull a game's journalism and talk about shit they don't know. With him, it strikes me more as they told him he has to play this. <laughs> it's not Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh god, yeah, that, that was a hilarious review. It's like, so, having not played any of the other games, it would be irresponsible of me to review this game. <laughs> Let's hear my review of this game, having not played the others! 
Yeah, at further rage and I did never made it past the Grimer series and one could not with Dim Sun's Toxic Croak and Shadows of Olmia. Oh god. There was a very strange twist to the Dim Sun leader. It was very odd. <laughs> okay, um, no, no. Yeah, that's right. I don't have to catch another weasel as long as I live. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, that's right. Check this section out, yeah. <laughs> One wisp remaining in this area. Okay. Gracious me. Okay. it should be on the southern part shouldn't it it'd be really weird for it to have come from the jubilife area and then washed up over here or here yeah Hey man, no, I am free of my obligations. I never have to catch another frequent weasel as long as I live. At least until they're in another game. Something I even have to be in the water for. It feels like I would. It feels like it'd be like right on the shore, right? You know, if you still have it, maybe you could try to play those games again. I think you get a real kick out of them. They have a lot of big personalities in them. Also, I think you would really like the Go Rock quads. They, uh, they're a lot of fun. picked it up if there had been anything right here. Uh, 
Okay, so whatever it is will be on the other side. piece. Okay, well, it's not shit, but it's also not a Manaphy egg. Please, please give me Manaphy egg. for treasure. Anything I need to look at in the walls? I'm getting really freaking bored with this. And because I want to accomplish this before I go for Reggie Gigas, it kind of makes me want to just stop soon. And just, you know do more stuff on my own. Yeah, I'm gonna get back out to the hand and then we're gonna we're gonna see if that changes anything. I'm gonna give it you guys have fun good luck yeah you know what let me just let me just call it here then because you know this is um it's been a lot you know we've been going for quite some time so I think let's just uh, let's just find uh find somewhere to raid yeah let's see if Oh no, hat function is not on. Interesting. Okay. I thought for sure he would be. Um Okay, you know what? We'll raid the official crane again. He's doing some sort of reaction to Final Fantasy 14. Um but I don't think he's actually playing. I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, he's just he's just talking about it. So uh yeah, let's just let's just go raid him. Uh I want to thank everyone for joining me. Um I don't know if I'll be able to stream again till Monday. I might be able to do it tomorrow, I don't know. Let's just start let's just raid. I think that'll be fun.
All right. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much Anytime. for coming. Nope. And uh, definitely cannot. And, uh, <laughs> my my, my aunt and uncle lived there for a while. Mm. Uh, um, but then they had to move because they had kids. Yeah, I, right. <laughs> they're like, they're okay, like, right now. Okay. Too small. And this house is surrounded <laughs> right. by stairs. Thank you very That's much for coming. <laughs>